Division in terms of his hand speed. Whoa, oh, that's oh, that's oh, that's sorry. Right. And down goes Vargas, right on the ear. Was that my prediction? Hopefully we can see some rounds here from these big guys. Some entertaining rounds at that. Vargas wearing the red trunks and Ruiz in the blue. I'm, I'm going to throw myself out there and make a prediction if you guys want me to. Go for it, bud. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm looking how the fight is just now starting off. I'm thinking Ruiz is going to just keep touching the body. If you've seen just, just a minute ago, how he just do that jab to the body, just like that one. Because Vargas is on his toes. That's your bold prediction? No. no <laughs> yes, What's bold. the bold I, prediction? I, I think it's going to be a knockout. Okay. I think it's going to be a right hand over, I was over the top it. knockout. I'm just... <laughs> trying to set it up. Yeah, being, being a coach, being a coach. <laughs> well, hey, Vargas's coach, trainer, is his father, Ray. What's the game plan for them to pull off the upset here? Keep touching the body, keep touching the body, and, and take his legs away from uh, away from him. And then once he slows down, then you start coming over with that speed that uh, Ruiz got. He's pretty fast to be a big guy. Oh, he's got quick hands. That's always been, you know, his bread and butter is, you know, you look at his size, you don't think of speed when right. you see a body type like that. But the way he lets his hands go, um, you know, he's arguably – up there with some of the top guys in the division in terms of his hand speed. Whoa, that's oh, that's that's right. Right. And down goes Vargas, right on the ear. Was that my prediction, Christina? And it's over. Oh, he stopped him. That was it. <laughs> second round, we hardly knew ye. What is the second round? We don't know. Andy Ruiz, knockout number 20, win number 30. I'm going to ask you for the lottery numbers next, Bo, okay? Well, those are, I will not give to you. <laughs> well, you know, being a, being, a, being a boxer trainer for all those years, I, all the years I've been and then fighting, you can see the certain style when, when fighters come out, what they're looking for, what a trainer would tell them, what their corner would tell them. And so my thing would be like, touch the body and come over top, just like that. And it almost looked like the right hand connected kind of with the shoulder. I, it didn't look like it connected... I mean, kind of with the ear. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. that's your equilibrium, man. Yep. You knock that off, man. You can see how he's uh, legs. have Bambi legs. What did you call that? Yeah. Your, your equal what? E equilibrium. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was got a couple go. syllables. <laughs> equilibrium. <laughs> equilibrium. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so now they make a friend of it. <laughs> hey, hey we got to have fun out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Either way, Andy, the destroyer, Ruiz, said he was going to make a statement tonight, and he certainly did. A right hand to the left ear of Devin Vargas, and that was all she wrote about a minute and a half into round one. So Ruiz came back, wanted sort of a tune-up fight, and he got that. Yeah, and, and for Devin Vargas, uh, talking to him in the locker room, he said this is kind of like a... You know, do I keep boxing or do I, I have a great job. I work at Jeep. I'm a coach. I support my kids. Do I keep doing this after this? I don't know. Here's Lupe. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time for this bout, 1 minute 38 seconds of the opening round. Your winner, by way of knockout, Puro Chicali, Andy, El Destroyer, Ruiz.